Well, today, knowing that today is Thanksgiving and you're probably going to have a lot of guests in your house and a lot of family around who tomorrow are not going to want to think about turkey and are going to want a nice breakfast, I'm going to show you how we make our crunchy French toast at Mother's Bistro and Bar. It's yummy, it's crispy, it's squishy, it's delicious, and here we'll show you how. First, we start out with six whole eggs, and to that I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of half and half and three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. We'll mix that up real well and add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We'll mix that up real well. And there's nothing simpler. It's really easy to make. Now, smush up our smush. That's a, that's a very important term. We want to smush up our cornflakes so they're smaller, not huge pieces. That way, it'll stick better to the French toast. And I like to use, it's called challah, egg bread. It's like a brioche. So brioche, challah, egg bread, that's what you want to use. And we like it thick. That egginess adds a nice richness. Dip it in the French toast mixture, the custard as it's called, and then into the cornflakes and press so that the cornflakes adhere. While you're doing that, we'll do a few of the, more of these, set it aside, and then we're going to cook them all together. So once again, the batter, and then the smashed up or smushed up cornflakes. Now, I like to use clarified butter for the French toast, but if you only have whole butter, that's okay. Just be careful your butter doesn't burn. Clarified butter doesn't burn like whole butter does. And then we'll fry our pieces of French toast until they're golden and crispy. And this is great served with maple syrup, or you can top it with bananas and whipped cream. So if you're browning before the custard is cooked enough, turn down your heat and cook it a little slower. So see, it is getting pretty brown. So I'm gonna turn down my heat because I don't want them to get too brown before the inside cooks. So now the French toast is done. By the way, you can get this egg bread at Zupan's, New Seasons. Grand Central Baking also carries it. And what I like to do is I like to cut them in half. So I lay it on the cutting board, cut them in half this way. Nice and see how beautiful that is? Nice and fluffy. A little powdered sugar. Maple syrup. Mmm. Cornflake crusted French toast. Perfect for Thanksgiving day after. Enjoy. Ah! Oh.